What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. I hope you're all doing great and welcome to another trading education video. Um, it's probably going to be a short one or this. I'll try to keep it short, um, short and, and valuable, hopefully. Uh, but this is kind of a, a sequel to a video I made some time ago, right? Uh, not, um, I think a couple of months back, I made a video on how to find uh, rallying cryptos, right? The cryptos that, that had a higher chance of rallying soon. Uh, which is obviously one of the most important things, because if you can identify cryptos that, that have a, a chance to rally soon, uh, then you can make some nice trades, right? And and this way, it, it's exactly like, like this strategy to find them. Uh, it's the same as that, as that strategy in that not every crypto you identify will rally. Uh, but one of the most important things in, in crypto trading is that you're looking at the right cryptos. Because if you're looking at the right cryptos and you're analyzing them and your strategy works, then you have the most winners, all right? Um, and it's not that difficult, but you just need to know it and you just need to know a little bit of tweaks and, and what to focus on, etc. So this is the chart of Bitcoin. We're not going to be looking at that, but what we are going to do, and by the way, I'll leave links to both this website and my previous video in the, uh, in the description and the pinned comments, so you can check that out easily. Um, but the website you need is Orion Terminal, right? So, so the website itself, it's, you cannot see it at the top, but it's orionterminal.com. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link down in the description. It brings you to this page right here. It's a lot of numbers. Most numbers here you don't need to focus on. However, you do need to, you do need to uh, configure it right the first time around, all right? Because you do need some numbers. So if you go to this website the first time, what you'll see at the very top is a settings button. You cannot see that on, on the uh, screen again. I can quickly show it to you right here. Here you can see it right here. There's a settings button. Um, so you click that and what you'll get is uh, this screen. So here you can, uh, here you can uh, choose and you can select what you want to see in this whole pla on this whole dashboard. Um, so just copy these, uh, these settings, all right? In general, volume, delta, um, it's, it's good to have. Ticks doesn't really matter. Volatility doesn't really matter. I have them on, I'm not sure why, because they were already on. But what does matter is that you have the, so, so these are the ones that I have on right now, right? So I have a price, ticks five minutes, volume five minutes, change one hour, volume one hour, V delta one hour, OI change 15 minutes, OI change one hour, OI change uh, eight hours and open interest. OI means open interest. V delta is the change in volume in the last hour. Uh, so is it positive, is it negative, and by how much? Volume last hour is just the total volume in the last hour. Change one hour is the change in price in the last hour. And the most important ones here is the volume one hour, the volume delta one hour, the OI, the open interest change one hour and the open interest change eight hours. Because, and this is, like I said, it, it's, not, it's not difficult, but you just need to know what to focus on. And the way I use this, and I use multiple things and I can make videos about that too, but the way I use this is I click on volume one hour. I sort by which coins have the most volume because I like to trade coins with volume. If you trade coins with volume, there's less chance at slippage. You know that there's some sort of momentum and some sort of direction. It's just better. And then you look at the open interest change one hour and you look for gains, let's say preferably above 2%. But so, so, so like the, the main thing you're, you're looking for is an increase in open interest that's, that's steady and that's recent. All right. So what I, look, what I look at is the open interest change one hour and the open interest change eight hours. Because what I want to see is that there has been, has been an increase in momentum or open interest in the last hour, but also over a longer period of time. So then, for example, you look at WIF right here or GMT. You can see recently there's been an open interest increase in the last hour. And in the last eight hours, the open interest increase has been bigger. So in this case, 1.7% and 2.3% for WIF. Uh, and 1.2% for GMT uh, and 11.5% in the last eight hours. So you just look for those. And, and then not all of these will yield results, but then at least you know which cryptos in the last hour gained momentum and which also have been moving. So if we, if we go through this list, for example, you can see Venry uh, looks quite interesting. Personally, what I always like to have as well is a positive volume delta so that this is green. But that is fine. I mean, that, that is negative in the last uh, in the last hour is not necessarily a problem, even though a positive open interest in the last hour with a negative volume delta 
it's not amazing but you go through the list all right and you, and you and you see what's interesting so for example big time has a positive volume delta a three percent increase in open interest in the last hour a seven percent increase in the open interest in the last eight hours that's interesting and you scroll down further and and you and you and you find these cryptos so for example uh, true true fi uh, has an increase here the volume delta here is negative so that's not ideal but the open interest has gone up and uh, and even more in the last eight hours so it's worth to keep an eye on at least and you just go through the uh, through the list all right so so right now there's not that much that's interesting i would say but there's still some uh, tokens that I th do think are interesting here for example a one percent increase for auction six percent in the last eight hours that's still like I said most of these will not be interesting but it at least gives you some sort of a a, a reference or not a reference but it at least gives you some sort of an, an idea of what to look at um because you need to look at tens of cryptos a day if you want to find the rallying ones right um and this is one of the ways to find them now, if you do have any questions about this, hopefully I, I explain it thorough enough. But if you do have any questions still, let me know down in the comments, please. Um, like I said, I'll leave the link to Orion Terminal, which is this dashboard, in the description together with my previous video on how to find rally and cryptos. Uh, but for now, if you do have any questions, let me know. Uh, take care. Have a great rest of your week and bye.